I mean, I don't think it's the prettiest <laughs> building on campus. I don't really like it. I think it's dead. Like, it's so dead that it makes it, like, dreadful to walk in there sometimes. UC Berkeley is home to a variety of important and historic buildings, including Evans Hall, home to mathematics and economics departments. Constructed in 1971, Evans Hall has both shaped UC Berkeley's campus and its culture alike. But in early 2022, it was announced that due to seismic insufficiencies, Evans Hall would be demolished to make way for new and improved advising offices and classrooms. This comes after decades of poor seismic ratings and student complaints about Evans Hall, citing its poor architectural design and internal design. We had a chance to speak to passing students about Evans Hall's design and hear their thoughts on its imminent destruction. I don't really like it. I think there's so many really beautiful neoclassical buildings on campus, um, but then Evans is kind of just there. I think it's outdated, so there is some renovation things that, they, that could happen. I mean, I don't think it's the prettiest <laughs> building on campus, uh, but again, I don't know if it necessarily needs to be destroyed. It definitely feels very old and different compared to the other buildings on campus. You walk in there, the walls are concrete, so it's just like muted um, compared to like every other class. I love the library. The library is very, very nice, the, the math library. But overall, it's just kind of just been a place where I go to study. There's no like big meaning to it in my eyes. Complaints about Evans Hall are nothing new, though, as, like most things at Berkeley, there lies a great story to be told about this building. To unpack Evans Hall's impact on campus and the unfortunate story of his lead designer, we spoke to Betsy Rockwell, curator and head archivist of the Environmental Design Archives at the Berkeley College of Environmental Design. Post-World War II, like I said, there was a, a major influx of, a, of new students, essentially sponsored by the GI Bill. Yeah. So the campus comp population grew you know, um, exponentially, and the campus had to really figure out how to accommodate all these new students and to start expanding space for disciplines that were growing after the war, especially the um, engineering, physical sciences, and life sciences. Mm -hmm. So Evans was kind of a natural outcome of that particular form of planning, which is we want to create a little neighborhood right here around Hearst Mining Circle. We want to create I think this was mathematics and physical sciences. Yeah. Um, and so Evans kind of just kind of puts a little bookend there to create a smaller, more intimate space here. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the reasons I think why people have always been a little bit against Evans Hall. Yeah. And if I look at um, a 1978 historic, um, sort of historic buildings evaluation of all campus buildings, they're essentially like Evans Hall, what a mistake. It sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. so tall. It's as tall. It, it competes with the Campanile mm -hmm. in terms of how you view the campus. Yeah. And so it's, and it's not designed in the same, with the same level of quality as yeah. the other buildings you can see. Um, so I think that's probably one of the reasons why there's even if people, even if people would privately admit they think the building is okay, <laughs> sort yeah. of generally, there's a feeling that it's always, you know, kind of a, it has a bad reputation for kind of ruining the campus plan. While Evans Hall's design is a story in its own right, won't we'll be foolish not to cover the significance of its lead architect, Gardner Daly. One of Daly's sort of design, um, common design features was kind of a very an emphasis on the vertical. Mm -hmm. um, he was influential to a few other um, well-known Bay Area architects, sort of a, a very particular ratio of width to height that yeah. kind of gave a certain um, grandiose, kind of grandiose feeling to, yeah. to the architecture without being, you know, very imposing. It was kind yeah. of a, a, an elegant way of, of sort of drawing the eye up. Um, so, so obviously Daly had done a lot of work mm -hmm. for the campus, and I'm sure you've been to the music buildings, yeah. um, but you know, a much more um, elegant approach to, to a campus building. Yeah. And so what I think what changed between Daly's prior buildings on campus yeah. and the design of Evans Hall yeah. is that Daly actually died. Oh. Gardner Daly died in 1967. Yeah. It was actually quite a tragic story. He committed suicide yeah. by jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, his firm did carry on. So it was really his, his younger associates who I assume designed Evans Hall. The, the project had started before Daly died, but I think was carried out by his younger associates, who were, who were talented architects, but you know, it, it, it wasn't Daly. So while Evans Hall may be a boring looking building, its history is anything but. For Cal TV News, my name is Alexa Rico, and I'll catch you all next time.